The thing with the trailer, which it was never our plan. About nine o'clock I'd gotten up, 9.30 and got myself some coffee and I was sitting there looking at the pond and it was raining and watching the ducks play. This showed up and she comes in the door <laughs> and it's pour down rain. And I'm looking at this thing and she pops up. So what do you think? You think we can fix this? <laughs> well, I'm not a drinking man, but I think if I'd had some good old Captain Morgan to <laughs> spike my coffee with at that time, I would have whipped it up there, man. I was like, man. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, I think we can make this into like a little cottage. And so that's where it all. And then I told her to draw it up. And the minute I hit the highway in it, cars were pulling around us <laughs> and pulling in front of us. And taking pictures. And, pe and, and we're taking their, <laughs> the pictures and they were waving at us. Yeah. I pulled in to get gas at the pilot station in Brunswick, Georgia. There was five cars followed me in. <laughs> And I, I got out and I'm looking back there and this lady, this, this blonde headed lady, she just throwed her hand out. I love your trailer. Can I look at it? And I, I look at my wife and says, well, can, can you open it up? People want to see it. It was just an amazing a feeling. And then we'd leave and they'd say, well, thank you so much for showing us. It's just brought back so many good memories from when they were children. And uh, that's a great feeling. Hello, my name is Bobby. I'm Sharon and we traveled the country from East Coast to West Coast in our 1970 Holiday Rambler. People have always asked us, a 1970, why? From my perspective, it's got good bones. That much I did know from hearing people talk, the information we were gathering, because we've been looking for three years, maybe buying some, a school bus, an old trailer, an old Airstream, and we run across this, she did. And I was working a lot back in those days. So I relied on the little lady. It's 29 feet long and it weighs fully loaded 7,000 pounds. And that's pretty neat. And the color is tantalizing teal. And yes, people say that's an awning on there. It came with a 21 foot awning. I'm a spec kind of guy and I love specifications. So we tried to keep it as original with the outside that we could because we had to change the inside totally. It runs 15 inch wheels. 15 inch tires. I used the Goodyear Endurance, which have been marvelous, marvelous. She did the little holiday sign there. And as you can see the difference in the metal here, this was painted, We're still, we are still stripping all the old paint off of this molding. But it's gradually coming off on its own, so that's saving us some work. <laughs> so you know how it is when you have something old like this. And this is the thing for the Phoenix, that's why we named the trailer the Phoenix, because we felt like we brought it back from death and give it, uh, I like to repurpose things, I like to save. And that's just part of the, the knack of doing things with me. I enjoy repurposing and, and, and seeing what you can do with your hand, the creation you know, of what you can do. It's really cool. Original door, I took it apart, I did a video of it, I rebuilt it. And that's the original screen, 1970. I just rescreened it. And these steps, a lot of people ask us about the steps. These are marine grade by Taylor. And you use these on boat docks and stuff. And they'll hold 500 pounds. It didn't have any tanks, it didn't have none of this stuff on it when I got it. So I had to buy all this stuff and weld the plate, put everything here on it because it didn't have none of this. And the windows were all original. This was an upscale model. We found this out from Holiday Rambler with the fat, flat windows, sliding windows. And they're safety glass. Isn't that amazing? This is one of the neat features about these old trailers like this. You get these little awning, and I rebuilt this awning because it's fiberglass. It's an eighth inch thick fiberglass plate in little sections here and it has holes knocked all in it and I repaired it and rep I repainted it. And over here, this is just our, our advertisement side. That's what I call it anyway. Uh, I got a few things here with this. With this fan, it didn't come with a fan in it. So I bought this through a, the dealer out of uh, Indiana. They sell these fans and I put this in myself and it works great over the stove. And right here we have, uh, this is my water inlet right here. And while I was doing all the plumbing on this thing and everything, I went ahead and put me an outside shower in. So you just un pop it open and it comes out. And really pretty simple. We've used it a couple times. Actually, we use it a lot of times to give the dog a bath. It just makes it easy. I got a table set right here. It works really, really good. So to power this thing up, it's 30 amp. People say, well, why didn't you use 50 amp? 
I didn't need 50 amp. Everything's energy efficient here. That's the, everything's 2014 or newer. So I have two AC systems inside. The load requirements, I can run two ACs and a hot water heater and the TVs and stuff on less than 30 amps. But anyway, to power this up, I use a little small Ryobi when we're dry camping. And a lot of times uh, people say you can't do it, but I leave my generator back in my truck. Uh, I've, I have a thermal set back here that I'll check, see what the temperature is on this thing. And if it gets, starts getting hot, the exhaust too hot or something or too much of a load, I got a little metal plate that I put back in and it just blows it right up. But don't run it in closed. That's not safe to do it like that. But this right here, this generator, this Ryobi, I've had this thing for almost four years and it's been perfect. I mean, I have run it since we got into the dry camping, which we love to do now because it's so efficient. I don't have to spend a lot of money. And the gas, I spend probably maybe $15, $16 a week in gas in seven days. Uh, that's nothing really. This is a 35 Ram 3500 and uh, it pulls that 7,000 pound trailer like no other. I don't even know the trailers back there. Uh, we went a little up on the, the truck was a great deal. A 2500 would have cost me 5,000 less, but I got a bigger engine in this and I got a bigger heavier duty truck. So if I did want to move a friend's RV or help someone out, I've got the truck to do it. And right here, last but not least, I do have storage in the bumper, but I don't have no sewer pipe to go in there. So we have a composting toilet, so there's no worry for none of that. I use it for other storage. But right here, I just got my air pump. It's 12 volt. It goes up to 120 PSI. I can air up all my tires. It reaches all the way around the vehicle. You can't beat it. You gotta have some things with you, folks. Um, I got one battery, and this little, I have all LED lighting. This one battery gives me all the lighting I need. Now, I don't have an inverter and all that, but which I'm gonna upgrade to that in the future. Uh, but uh, we'll do that as it comes, and we get the money to do that. And, uh, but having it so simple, it, it's, it's really simple to work on, and everything's just simple, and life is simple. <laughs> we like we like things simple, and we can get up and unhook this thing, and be gone thirty minutes, and it you know it's really good. Now it's not for everybody, but a lot of people say they took some of my tips and said you know just keep it simple, keep it in front of you, and you can handle it. Welcome to the interior of our home. Uh, we've been in it now for uh, five years. Come July the seventh. We did all the work on the inside ourselves. We gutted it and started all over because it was not, we could, it couldn't be saved. So uh, the countertops and the table were, they were not seconds. Everything else in here is seconds. So the cabinets, everything. And Mr. Childers is not a carpenter, but they did a dang good job. None of the uh, interior in here was original at all. Uh, everything is brand new and uh, at first when we did it, we had a sofa here because our grandbabies wanted to come and camp with Mama and Papa when they were little. <laughs> so after they got too big, we decided that a uh, table here that doesn't fold down into a bed was perfect because he can work on his financials right here at the table. And, uh, you know, it just makes it easier f to have two places to work. Uh, we have storage in here and storage here. Storage up here underneath. Nine inch deep sinks. And we've got our um, ice maker and knives in here because of the grandbabies. <laughs> and we have a hot water heater here, a six gallon. And the countertops are covered in, um, they call it um, bar glaze. And it's like putting 60 layers of polyurethane on top. Our stove, we got off Craigslist for $300. A thousand dollar stove for $300. <laughs> and we wanted it to be kind of authentic. So we went with a uh, fan that we found at a vintage store. This is fantastic stove, um, and we use it every day. It's awesome. So this was perfect for us, and you can fit a turkey inside. We definitely have enough, enough storage everywhere. Of course, we're about to go boondocking out in the middle of nowhere, so we had to stock up. 
but uh, we we have plenty of storage and uh, these are for medications and this works fabulously and we went with a residential refrigerator on a box drawer and that's where my cast iron is and we wanted to keep the weight evenly throughout the rig we have two weeks worth of food in here and um, the refrigerator I mean we've got we've got everything we need I mean there's plenty of space this is actually an apartment size refrigerator and an apartment size stove while sitting at the dining table, we can actually relax and watch TV. And we wanted it to be just like it was when we were in our house. So we have ourselves a fireplace. And um, in the wintertime, this is fabulous. <laughs> we love it. And we have everything we need, I mean, you know, as far as entertainment goes. And coming this way towards the back, we have a washer and dryer that we only use when we're in parks, of course. It used to be when we came out, we would, um, we would boondock for a couple weeks and then we would go into a park hook up, with full hookups so we could use the washer and dryer to do our own laundry. And um, now that we're out here in Quartzsite, we go to the laundromat here locally. They work great. And it's pretty deep too. The washer will hold uh, 10, pa 10 pairs of blue jeans. And this here is our pantry so that we can stay out. And I've got all my canning, my canning stuff up here and extra bowls. And uh, my canning jars are down here. Of course, cleaning stuff on the bottom. But yeah, we love this pantry and the bathroom we have a nice size shower it's 32 by 32 uh, composting toilet hamper i mean the best thing i can tell you is going vertical in a space this small means everything we had to special order our sink believe it or not this does not come in white it only comes in almond <laughs> so we had to special order that but i mean we have plenty of room it's awesome the composting toilet we built this past summer because we didn't want to have to deal with the black tank and we didn't want to have to deal with being hooked up in an RV park because these vintage trailers were meant to be hooked up in an RV park so they didn't have the tanks and everything that everybody else has so going composting for us was the ticket so we built this this past summer and it has worked out marvelously and this is our bedroom and we really love it lots of storage under the bed we actually um, made it higher than normal because i have all my camera gear under there plus my father's camera gear under there when i envision envisioned this bedroom i was thinking about a uh, cabin on a cruise ship i was like well i don't want I don't want doors. I don't want something to be hindered. And so I said, okay, let's build these little cubes. We'll put ca uh, baskets in there and we'll put the slip over there so we don't have to worry about them falling out. And it's awesome. You just pull it down and bam, you can get, get to your clothes and it's awesome. I have a uh, desk here that can fold down just in case we need extra storage for anything and that chair will slide right back here uh, widescreen tv i can use it as a monitor when i'm working and everything in here is either velcroed down or 3m sticks <laughs> so nothing i don't have to store anything away his grandmother made this quilt it's probably it's probably a hundred years old we're not for sure, but all of these squares I applicate on because they were, they were white originally. And uh, to keep it in with the original, I hand stitched all of these on. And then these little places here had little moth holes on them. And so I put these little uh, butterflies on where they were, where I could not fix it. And then I just threw the rest of them up and sew, sewed them there. We've been in it now for five years, and so we love it. The biggest thing for me I'm a, is the people I've, yeah. I've met. The quality of people, America's still got it. 
The people out here just make it for me. The, the enthusiasm, the honesty, the help, the community. The lifestyle, it, it gives you so much that I can never give back. That's why when we do the cleanups and someone needs some help with their rig, I, I'll, I'll, I don't have to know them. It's part of my community and I want to help my community. That, that made it for me out here. This, I'll never leave this. All I can say is just prepare and as soon as you think you want to go full time, start early. You cannot start early enough to get rid of stuff that you don't want anymore. And it's, it's freeing, it's, it's fantastic. If you want freedom in your life, this to me is total freedom. At a minute's notice, one of my friends in the family out here in the community, they need a hand, they need some help, you can count on me. I will be there. Yeah. Free yourself of the stuff. Don't be scared to make new friends. Life itself is always changing. Understand change and enjoy your life. We are the Nomadic Ramblers and that's on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And y'all have a great day. Y'all thanks for watching. Okay. I'm gonna get you lined up here. You say your name first and I'll say my name, then you say the rest of it. Just you do that. <laughs> With the nomadic ramblers? And you... Uh we got somebody coming over here. It was inexpensive. <laughs> I actually drug it home for four hundred dollars. I didn't even have the right ball on the truck. Of course we still like our smoothies. <laughs> so he's laying it on me pretty heavy. He's throwing the peanut butter on there, then he's fixing to throw the jelly with it. Hold on. I would not go back to a sticks and bricks. Just saying. <laughs>